Hi there folks, this is Adam with 8 Badge Gaming coming to you today with our first gameplay video with our expanded Lucario deck. Now for the games themselves, I am going to be running them solo and I was looking to potentially getting uh, Mike in our last video, the deck review, where we can discuss the matches that we played up against and what changes we could potentially make to the deck, though I think this is a pretty concrete list so far. So let's go ahead and hop right on into the queue there now. So we're just looking for an opponent here now, waiting to see what we get paired up against. I don't have as much knowledge of the expanded scene online as I would like, so I'm not going to be great at guessing what decks we're against based on the typing we see in the versus screen, but we do have an opponent here now. So it looks like we're against something Dragon Electric, Water, and Psychic here. So I'm not entirely sure what we're against. So it could be, say, Giratina, for example. I know that was something that Ryan Kratz played recently. Uh, for the heads call here, we're going to hope to hit, and we did. So we actually do get the play here, and we will indeed go first. We'll see if we get to start with something good as our basic, and we do. We do get to start with a Riolu. So our opponent had no basic Pokemon, so they will be doing a mulligan. We'll get a glimpse at their deck at the very least. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put down a Remoraid here now as well. And we do have the Lele uh, first turn for us to be able to go and get essentially any draw supporter that we need. Um, though we do have a pretty good hand here overall. So we have Electric on their side as well as Octillery. Uh, they are an electric-based deck, so we will have the one mulligan there from them. But if they're electric-based, I think we're going to be fine with that. And yes, we would indeed like to draw another card. We got ourselves a basic fighting energy. And we've got a Don Wings Necrozma, so that's odd to be doing both electric and psychic energies in the deck, unless they're just using it for its invasion ability. So, we do have a resistance to fighting on the Dawnwing side. So let's go ahead and throw down a Brooklet. We're going to use Brooklet to go for a Deancey. Uh, we're going to lay a Lele. Use Lele to go for a Cynthia here, I think. Because we don't want to go for any of our Pokemon just yet. We don't want to enter our opponent because they didn't have a great hand. So we do want to go for a Cynthia here. I think we'll go ahead and attach the strong energy to the Riolu. And we're going to Cynthia. So we're going to go for a different hand here. We got the Karina, which does mean that uh, next turn we're going to be okay. Uh, Focus Sash... So next turn, Karina, we can use that to go for a Lucario plus Octillery via the level ball. Uh, I don't think we want to use anything else here just yet. We'll have the Focus Ash on there to prevent the knockout, potentially on their side. We'll throw down the other Riolu here as a backup, and then we're going to go ahead and pass it back. So next turn, we have some tool attachments to empty our hand. Uh, they do have a Lele start on their side there. Unfortunately, I forgot to check my prizes, though it should be pretty easy with just a Cynthia on the discard and a search coming up on our turn. So they are starting off with a Bridget on their side, going for Remoraid and then two Tynamos for the electric suit up there. Um, we do have an electric energy going down on the Lele, and we get a Versus Seeker on our side. So, let's go ahead and start off with a Brooklet Hill. So now we'll be able to try to figure out what prize or cards we have prized. So we don't have any of our Riolu's prize. We have both our Landorus and our Buzzwall, both of our Octillaries, but it looks like we're down a Remoraid. Um, we have two of our three Lucarios, so we're down a Lucario here, and we have our Orangaroo. Item-wise, we have the Level Ball Rescue Stretcher scoop up. We have an Ultra Ball in hand, as well as a Versus Seeker. We have all of our Brooklet Hills. Uh, it looks like we actually have two of our Acerolas prized here because we don't have any in hand. Um, we have all of our Guzmas. We've already used our Cynthia. We've got one Karina prized. Um, we're not going to have time to finish the search here. So let's just click done. 
So we are going to go for Karina, and we're going to get a Lucario as a Pokemon and a Level Ball to get an Octillery. So we are going to Level Ball here now to go for Octillery. And let's see, we did count off one, two, three, four, five of our prizes. So we're going to Octillery, then we're going to Lucario, we're going to put a Choice Band down on this Riolu, a Float Stone on the Octillery, and then we're going to Abyssal Hand for three. We hit another energy, our Landorus, and a energy here. So right now we're hitting for 120, 140, 160, minus 20 from resistance. So we're hitting for 140. So we're pretty decently positioned here. Uh, knowing that Aetherola is such a key card and so many of them are prized is kind of sad. But I think we're just going to straight go for the Aura Strike here. And we're going to keep the energy in hand just in case we need to put up our other Riolu. Now, the good thing is, is we're still going to be hitting for 50 for a KO. Um, we're seeing him likely taking out the Rescue Scarf here. Yep. And the Float Stone gets this. So that's not going to do too terribly much, especially where we do have the Octillery in play and gave them a couple of cards. So what I think we want to do here is attach an energy. We're going to not bother putting down a Riolu, but we will put down the Landorus. And we're gonna Octillery here using Abyssal Hand for three. Uh, we did get a Guzma, which actually means I think we can straight KO the Lele. Because we're going to be hitting for 120, 150, plus 20 is 170, so we can Guzma up the Lele, put up our Riolu, and evolve into a Lucario, and take a KO um, with just a basic fighting energy. So we'll take a one-shot KO here on the Lele, taking two of our prize cards. There's our Karina and a Focus Sash. That was the sixth prize that I didn't know about there. Um, so, let's see, we have a Sycamore on our opponent's side here now, discarding another Lele and some other useless cards, and we do have them sh shielded up now with a Shiny Rayquaza, looking to do Sky's Judgment, I'm guessing. We're getting an Octillery on their side there as well, discarding a Cynthia, and what appears to be another Energy. We're going to get Abyssal Hand for two. They're definitely digging for Electrics here. Uh, they're trying to suit up that Shining Rayquaza to go for a KO. Because right now, Shining Judgment does just straight KO us. Okay, so we do have a Super Scoop up. Um, let's see. Landorus could KO and put some damage down. Uh, our... Heck, it's not giving us much chance here, is it? So let's go ahead and we're going to super scoop up the Lucario here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the Landorus up into the active. Throw down another Riolu. Uh, we're going to put a Focus Sash on the Lu Riolu here, I guess. Um, put a Choice Band on the Landorus. Um, because Choice Band isn't overall good here, but that means that we're going to hit for 60, 80, minus 20, 60 is still a KO. We get to put some damage onto their bench, likely aiming at, hmm, not the electric, because we're still going to be able to KO that for the most part. So we'll put down a basic energy. Um, we could Karina here, but there's no real purpose to do so. So let's just go ahead and do a Hammerhead for Knockout. And we'll put 30 damage on just a Timo here, because we'll be able to potentially take a KO on it next turn. So we're already four prizes ahead against our opponent's Shining Rayquaza deck here. And we did get one of our Acerolas, as well as the Remoraid. So right now, prizes left is a Lucario and an Acerola. So... Let's see what our opponent does here now. If they do just straight hit on Landorus, we can just go for an Acerola, put it back in hand. Um, 
and just go for the Riolu KO. So let's see, 120 damage. The Riolu is going to be able to KO that Shining Rayquaza already. So they are going to be able to take a KO on the Landorus, but then we're going to be KOing the Shining Rayquaza there. Um, I think we're totally fine with this um, because we're going to promote our Riolu here that has the Focus Sash on it. So that's going to force them to somehow have uh, the second Field Blower in their deck where they have one in the discard. So let's go ahead and promote the Riolu here. Now I'm only going to attach a basic energy, I believe. Ooh, that makes it a bit interesting for the next turn. So let's go ahead, we're going to attach a basic energy, we're going to evolve into Lucario, we're going to put down a Riolu, uh, we're going to use a Karina here. Um, what we're going to go for is a Rescue Stretcher, and I don't think we actually want to take a Pokemon, though we could also just go for a second Focus Sash here. Um, a float stone. I think we'll take a float stone as the primary thing here. Uh, we'll keep it in hand for now, but we're going to Aura Strike for a KO on the Shiny Rayquaza. So we just need to take one more prize. We have a setup here now. We hit our Lucario as our second to last prize here. So we're expecting likely a Shiny Rayquaza getting suited up here, smacking us for a bunch but not quite KOing our Lucario at the moment, mainly because of the Focus Sash itself. Now, even with Sky's Judgment without a Choice Band, they're not going to be able to KO our Lucario anyways, but we're going to see some Electrics putting some energy back on. So we get a Versus Seeker here. They're going for a Teammates. So let's see what they get with Teammates. I don't think they're just going to be able to win. Uh, just because we have Riolu Strong and Lucario, um, we do have the Field Blower. So that's something there. Do they have the Choice Band to force the KO? Because if they don't have the Choice Band, we're just going to straight... Cantankerous beat down with an energy next turn. Um, or we could do the ace to roll at a bounce in hand, put up the other Riolu and take a KO that way. We have a lot of options available to us. They did go for the choice band though. So they are going to be taking a KO on this Lucario, but what we're going to do is just promote up our Riolu uh, and just go for a KO. Uh, so let's see here now. We're going to put up a Riolu. Attach a strong, evolve into Lucario, and we're just going to go straight for the Aura Strike for KO. So we were able to win our first game with Lucario and Expanded. So I don't know if that is an actual deck because I have never played against it before, the Shining Rayquaza. It definitely looks like a deck that can just suit up for a very strong attack, and the Tyamos are just evolving into the electrics and just essentially just being the electric Malamar. Um, I know that someone was playing at our most recent expanded night, the very last Pokemon days, was actually playing electric deck um, and looking to just suit up for a large amount of damage very quickly, just like you would with any type of Malamar deck with Psychic. Um, but I'm glad we were able to take the KO there. Uh, being able to get that Guzma hit for exact numbers using just Strong plus the Deancey to take out the Lele was very good. Um, Deancey does a lot of work, as Mike had already described, in just suiting up and allowing you for KOs against things like that. Um, getting a lot of damage on the initial... Uh, God, why can't I think of that? Dusk... Or sorry, Don Wings Necrozma there, uh, helped us as well, because then we were able to just put down a singular energy, uh, it's either a strong or put the choice band down on the Landorus, take a KO, put some damage on a Timo, and suit it up for potentially a KO on the following turn. Uh, just to be able to take those last prizes as necessary, though we did have a good bit of what we needed, our opponent did stumble a bit. Overall though, still showing a strong showing of the deck overall, and hopefully our games continue to go positively like this. So as always, we do greatly appreciate your viewership here at 8 Badge Gaming. Uh, we're always looking forward to hearing uh, what you might want to suggest as decks, what you'd like to see us play next, uh, or even what misplays I've been making. I always want to get better as a player 
or myself. So I'm always happy to hear from you, even if you're critiquing me. With that said, this is Adam with 8 Badge Gaming signing off.